got him, boys. Check it out. The Zenvo. Oh, yes. That is a very nice start to the Saturday here at Top Marks. Look at this, boys. We've got the GT2 RS. <laughs> oh, yes. My first GT2 RS. Hi, I'm Stavros. Welcome back to Top Marks. So we're here for 2018, the 15th anniversary of Top Marks. So we're going inside now shortly to look at some fantastic supercars. I do hope you enjoyed yesterday's video of me walking around the streets of Monaco, looking at all those cars on the streets. What a fantastic day it was. And of course, I met Eddie Jordan. <laughs> outside the Fairmont Hotel. But if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link to it at the end of this video. But guys, yeah, it's nearly 10 a.m. here. They're all queuing up to get into the show, so we better get in ourselves and check this out. So we saw some lovely artwork down here on our way up to the main show. We also saw a 1960s Chevrolet Corvette, fantastic, and a Fiat Zero from 1913. So probably the oldest car here at the show. Okay guys, we've made it to the show. Absolutely fantastic display of cars for this year's Top Marks, the 15th anniversary. And behind me, we have this Zeklat. Absolutely incredible car. And I'm joined by its creator, <laughs> Felix Eaton. Nice to meet you, hello. Uh, Felix, it's absolutely incredible. You were at Geneva and now you're here in Top Marks. Can you tell us all about your creation, how it started and how long you've been creating this Fabulous looking car. Oh, okay. It started from a TV program where I saw a 1930 sports car driving along, was captivated by it, found out that it was worth some 40 million pounds, couldn't actually afford one. So I decided, um, how hard can this be? I'll design one myself. So I uh, set about uh, designing four or five years ago, and it's taken about that length of time to come to the point where we can create a car that we can get onto the road. And here we have the Ziklat, which is a 1930s inspired piece of art, in my opinion. And it's based on a Corvette. Uh, what sort of power is it developing, Felix? It is, uh, the power is 465 uh, brake horsepower. It's uh, not 60 in 3.6 seconds. It weighs about the same as the Corvette, the donor car. We've retained all of the original chassis, all of the original electrics, and we've just changed the bodywork. And the name of your company, Felix, is Eden Green, and you're based in Coventry. This is where this car has been built. That's right. The, uh, the, the car is being built in Coventry. We're using uh, big, uh, uh, high-end coach builders uh, who also work for Bentley, Jaguar, Rolls-Royce, and uh, some of the finest names in motoring. Um, my company, we're based in Yorkshire. Um, I'm from Yorkshire, but the, all of the manufacturing and our manufacturing offices are in Coventry. And this car, Felix, it's a, it's a one-off prototype at the moment, but so it'll never be sold because it's just a prototype. But if anyone approaches you and say, Felix, can you build me this car? You've no problem building it. Oh, no, not at all. It's, pre it's production ready. This car, as you say, is a pre-production model. We wouldn't sell it because in any event, I designed it for myself and uh, I want to keep it. Uh, if it was productionized, we'd have to step up to some very, very different standards, um, equal to those of Bentley, uh, Rolls-Royce, Jaguar, and uh, this would involve significant investment. So which means that uh, if we were to have build these cars, you'd be talking over a million pounds comfortably for a very small number such as we, we would make a maximum of seven cars. And your company, as I said, Eden Green, based in Coventry. Um, so it's only yourself, Felix. Yep. You designed this on your own and no one else helping you. It's all your creation. Uh, well, I, it's the ideas and the lines and the look of it is, is, is me uh, that I've done. I'm the only person working in, in the company. Uh, but I have um, uh, subcontract uh, uh, suppliers who are very, very experienced in the car business, people who work for the major names. And the, uh, I, can't, I can draw things, but I can't work with uh, computers myself. So the CAD operators, the CAD surfacing is done by uh, a specialist uh, who is, I couldn't have done this job without him, and uh, he is uh, something quite special. So this car, while they're my ideas, have surfaces and ideas also brought in 
from uh, a, a man who's been working for the Bentley, Jaguar and Land Rover himself. So we, we have a combination of skills here. So that was fantastic, Felix. Thank you so much for showing me around your car. Felix Eaton from Eden Green. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So I really enjoyed my chat with Felix all about his car there. So let's move over here to a company you've probably never heard of before, Corbelletti. So this is their creation. It's a prototype. It's got a 9-litre engine and it develops 1,800 brake horsepower. So uh, <laughs> that is uh, their creation. I'm just going to give you a quick look at the rear end, see what you guys think of the styling from Corbelletti. So who knows whether we'll ever see this on the road. But there you have it. Sometimes you always see something different at Top Marks every year. There'll be companies or cars that you've never heard of before. But of course, we have the Corvette, the Z06. And that is looking very nice in yellow. And it's got a big, massive wing at the back. And it's from Alandi Performance. So uh, check that out. Yeah, that's pretty wicked looking from Alandi. And if we move over here, we have the Mustang. I like the wrap on that. Kind of a matte wrap, red. And we have the Chevrolet Camaro. Now this has a nitrous tank in the back seat. And I probably won't be able to show you it. Will I? Will I? In the back there is a nitrous tank. Uh, in there for your NOS. It develops an extra 100 brake horsepower with that tank um, deploying the nitrous. <laughs> and there is the engine, your green engine, and we have this window into the filter there. Yeah, nicely done. On your Camaro. Okay, let's move over to Brabus. So we've got the S650 from Brabus here. And Let's have a quick look at the interior because the interiors of these are just fantastic. <laughs> look at this and the wood. It's just the detail I think looks fantastic. Yeah, I really like them. And we have an Aston Martin DB11. We've got a Brabus Smart. We've got the Brabus 800. So this is based on the E63. So around 800 brake horsepower and that car is priced and specced up to nearly 190,000 euro. Here on the Rentec stand, we have the AMG GTR. So zero to 100 kilometers in 3.3 seconds and to 120 kilometers in 8.4 seconds. So absolute beast, the Rentec AMG GTR. And over there, they have a 280 SL. So this is priced at 280,000 euro for your AMG GTR. So I'm now here on the Shelby stand and would you believe who I am with is Aaron Shelby. He is the grandson of Carol Shelby. So Aaron, can you tell us um, all about your stand here and you're, you're invited here by Shelby, the main dealer. Yeah, so Gentleman Car is our main dealer here based out of Brussels. They handle the vintage Shelbys for us and have for several years in the European market. So they've displayed here at Top Marks for a couple of years. They invited us to come over this year, so I'm fortunate to be able to make the trip this year. And uh, I'll be here tomorrow signing autographs and taking pictures. Very good. And um, Aaron, we have the Shelby here and we have the GT40. Can you tell us, um, these are recreations of original Shelbys? That's correct. You know, it's amazing because we've built many more recreation cars than there ever were original Shelby's built back in the 60s. But uh, this is the 1965 427 SC, one of the most iconic Shelby's. If you see pictures or posters, I had a poster one as a kid is on my wall. So uh, one of the best things in this polished aluminum really catches everybody's eyes. So uh, we started doing these a couple of years ago based on the 50th anniversary of that vehicle and they've been popular for us. This is a recreation of the 1966 Le Mans winning car um, that was driven by Chris Amon. So it was a uh, it was the first time Ford won the 24 Hours of Le Mans after a couple of years of trying. My grandfather Carroll ran the race team in 1966 that did that, and the Fords finished one, two, three that year. So this is really an iconic car. 
I mean, to win one, two, three at Le Mans, like people who are not into Le Mans, that is like an a, astonishing achievement. It is, after a couple years of failure, but Henry Ford II really wanted to beat Ferrari, so they poured a lot of money into this program. And uh, Ford on their own failed a couple of times, but they knew Carroll had succeeded. He'd won there as a driver, and he'd won as a manufacturer with the, with the Cobras before. So they brought him in in 1966, they pulled off the victory. They won again in 1967. So it was a it was a good year. So this is really an iconic car, and there's a lot of demand for this car out there today. So, Fantastic. yep. Aaron, thank you so much for showing us around the stand here. It really is an incredible display of cars you have. So guys, that was the Shelby stand at Top Marks 2018. Thank you. I appreciate the time today. Thanks. Okay, let's continue. Okay, I'm on the Tushek stand, is that right? Yes. And this is the TS900 Apex. Yes. So can you tell us all about this car? Where did it start from? I've never heard of Tushek before. Yes, but we, we are already 10 years on the scene of supercars. This is our first model, which we started with TS500. Then this was TS600, and now this is TS900, which is our first hybrid car. And we want to open a completely new sheen in the supercar industry. We want to build ultralight hybrid cars. Yes. And this is based on an Audi engine? Uh, no, this is, we use an Audi engine, but in front we have two electro engines. Right. It's a hybrid and the car has peak power, 1,400 horsepower and continuous power 998 very fast. yeah because it's very very light i think we are the lightest we are the lightest hybrid supercar on the planet because the car weight only 1380 kilo all right, it's all of carbon fiber with sequential gearbox and with the electro electro system in the front yeah it's looking very well <laughs> thank you very much yeah thank you very much Cheers. appreciate it. Cheers. so guys if you're standard Maybach is not long enough. Why don't you go to Klassen? They can extend it by 36 centimeters. That is just pure luxury. <laughs> also on the Klassen stand, we have the Mercedes McLaren SLR. And check out that number plate, V1. That is the real number plate of the car, registered here in Monaco. So who knows how much that number plate cost, but can we get a quick look inside? Oh, the red and white. Looking great, and let's have a quick look at the rear. <laughs> the spoiler at the back. Yeah, and those nice chrome wheels. Yeah, I like that. It's uh, certainly eye-catching, to say the least. Your Mercedes McLaren SLR by Klassen. So we're still here on the Klassen stand. I'm going to hop into the back of the V-Class. Wait till you see the interior of this, boys. Oh yeah, time to sit down and relax at the motor show. <laughs> now these are Maybach seats I'm sitting on here now, from the Mercedes Maybach, obviously. And in here we have these little fold-out tables. So uh, you can fold, <laughs> like this is just, look at this. The finish is just on a different level. And what you can also do is you can remove these two seats if you want extra leg space and you can move do these two seats forward to give you more um, luggage space in the rear. But just look at the finish. Look at the roof. <laughs> you know, oh man. I mean, <laughs> if those two seats were gone, you could just literally lie down in the back here. And the pillows, the, these are like pillow headrests. And we have the television screen on the front there as well. Oh man, this is just, uh, this is luxury. So Peter, Tim, um, I'll stay here for a while and I'll let you do the rest of the show, yeah? <laughs> I'm just going to relax here <laughs> and go to sleep <sighs> in the back of the class. And okay, so we're now on the Ecus stand. So that's a company you've probably never heard of before. They are based in Detroit and they've completely modified this Corvette Z06. So it develops now 660 brake horsepower and you can see for yourself <laughs> 
<laughs> it does look far different from the Z06, the standard one. But uh, yeah, they will be only building 25 of these units and hopefully we'll see it later on out on the streets of Monaco because they're due to leave the show here at 8 p.m. And we might just see this Ecus Throwback S. That's the name of the car, the Throwback S. Yeah, <laughs> I think it looks good. We have the Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport, the 16.4. Looking very nice in red and black. And those wheels always look great. So what do you guys think of this? This is really something else. It's based on the Porsche Turbo S. It's on the Top Cat stand here and it's known as the Stinger. But we've got a completely wider track than your standard Turbo S at the rear. And this is all carbon fiber. Everything you see at the rear, carbon fiber. And that big wing, I love the yellow accents all around the car. So the only part of the car that is original is the roof. So the roof down to the A pillar there and the doors. Everything else is carbon fiber. Even this top piece here on the door, carbon fiber and those fantastic looking wheels, 21 inch front and rear. Yeah, they look great. And all carbon fiber on the front, completely redone. I've no idea how much it costs, but uh, there you have it. On the Top Cat stand, the Stinger, based on the Porsche Turbo S. And here on the Aston Martin Monaco stand, we have the V12 Vantage S and the V8 Vantage S. And here, of course, we have the DB11 in front of you there, the convertible. So yeah, nice collection of cars here from Aston Martin, Monaco. And I'm joined by Evgenia Osakina. I hope I got it right. <laughs> so can you explain to us, Evgenia, what you have here? on display. Absolutely. Welcome to Book of Jewelry and here we are glad to present you our bespoke pieces. It's our purses from Never Ending Romance collection. This is a wonderful handmade piece. Uh, it's made as a idea of the purse but it is more because look you can open it easily you can put something inside something memorable for your love or do engravings. It's really beautiful it goes like this from different different parts. We have the variety of them and we are happy to share this bespoke piece with our friends and clients. Please welcome to London to our boutiques and explore more. The meaning of this presence it's you gave it to me as a part of your heart and it's always with me, with your love inside. Please welcome and we're going to be very happy to see you and show you more jewelry that we have Check them out in London, Mayfair and Knightsbridge. Thank you. <laughs> and that's it. Top Marks in Monaco is now over for 2018. Their 15th anniversary here. So what a fantastic show it was. They always put on a great show here. And hopefully next year we'll see even more different marks of cars. Because some of them this year I've never even heard of before. But that's the thing about Monaco. You never know what you're going to get in that show. So anyway, it's time to hit the streets and look at more cars <laughs> driving around Monaco. Let's go! fiber wing, carbon fiber down the end here, that looks very well, but also down on the seal it's very plasticky looking. I'm sure if these were carbon fiber and also at the rear it would look far better. But this is the hot property Porsche at the moment, the GT2 RS. If you're a Porsche collector at all you want this car. This is it, the GT2 RS. With that uh, Lurberg ring lap time of 6 minutes 47.3 seconds on your GT2 RS. 
But yeah, other than those areas that look a bit plasticky, it is a fine looking car. Oh, we got emoji with TGE TV here. Ahoy, ahoy. And we've got the brand new 812 Super Fast. Yes. We've got the LaFerrari. Check out the color on this. <laughs> God, the guys went mentally here running across the road. <laughs> oh, man. oh, we've got the two Lancias today. Look at this. The two Integrales. Nice combo there. The big wing on the back of the one. We seen yesterday joining his friend today. Oh, what is that? <laughs> That's like a Lancia on stilts. Look at this. <laughs> Never get caught with your lift up, instant fail on the Hurricane Performante. <laughs> You can even get your Renault Twizy modified. <laughs> I think the driver of this McLaren is uh, taking the P1 double S boys. What do you think? <laughs> and we've got the Apollo IE on the move. 6.3 liter V12. Look at this guys. <laughs> Everyone's going mad for the Apollo. <laughs> So I'm joined now by Ryan Barris. You're the general manager from Apollo. Correct. So Ryan, could you tell us all about this car, the Apollo IE? It stands for Intenso Emozione, is it? Correct. Yeah, yeah. so basically um, the philosophy behind this car is to create a modern day GT1 that was designed for dual purpose, for road and for track use. And the reason we did this is um, cars today are so capable, they're so quick, but something's lost along the way there's a lot of diminishing returns so we wanted to create a car that was truly raw provided a very emotional driving experience in every level so this car without the use of active aero produces 1350 kilograms of net downforce at 300 kilometers an hour it only weighs 1250 kilograms and the way that we achieved that is this is the world's first car with an all carbon fiber chassis so not just the tub, but the front and rear subframes and the front and rear crash structures are all carbon. Right. And all those components together only weigh 105 kilograms. So this car is powered, um, again, along with the philosophy of it, it's a balance of old and new. Right. So it's powered by a naturally aspirated V12 that we developed with our engine partner, Autotetica Matori. Um, it produces around 780 horsepower. Um, it do zero to 60 around 2.7 seconds but it's not designed to be a straight line car. It's designed to be a car that's very fast in the corners. It's capable of uh, lateral forces in, in excess of two and a half Gs. And um, the car is a serious track car. So it has a full racing gearbox with three pedals. So you need the clutch to get in and out of the first gear and then it straight cut gears through. Um, car comes with two sets of wheels, some for roads, some for uh, track. Has a full air jack system for racetracks and also front and rear lifters for the road. So we really thought of everything when we were designing this car, all the way into the interior. And, so, and Brian, where is your factory? Where is the car being built? Yes, yeah, so we have operations all throughout Europe, Asia, and US. So our headquarters is in Germany. Um, and this car was developed in partnership with our German and Italian teams. And final production will be uh, in Germany. And there's only 10 examples being built. Yeah, so we have two factory cars that we're conducting our development program on right now. And then once that is done, we'll begin customer production. And that uh, is slated to start around Q4 this year, tentatively. And then we'll start um, production of 10 customer cars. Um, the first car will be left-hand drive. And it's uh, slated to be heading to the US. And then the rest of the cars should be uh, spread throughout the um, markets of Europe, Middle East, and uh, Asia. Great. 
Ryan, thank you so much for chatting to me about your Apollo I'm mining. Pleasure. I'm pleasure. <laughs> Fantastic car. You're the talk of Monaco 2018. Uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Ciao, ciao. And we've got the 488, the GTB. Hello. Hello. But uh, more importantly, we have the LaFerrari coming again around Casino Square. So yeah, uh, cue the running of people <laughs> and the chaos. Yeah, I'm sure the Fairmont is going to get busy again with people running on the road. And the Porsche 918 following the LaFerrari for good measure. Yeah, that looks pretty nice with those green on the wheels. where I'm going to leave you this year from Top Marks and Monaco. What an absolutely fantastic weekend. Way! <laughs> and guys, I'll be back again next year, of course, to do it all over again. But a fantastic selection of cars. The Apollo IE, okay, it's kind of stole the show. Everybody just went mental for it. And the LaFerrari, I mean, how, how long is the LaFerrari out now? And people still going mental for it. But guys, Thank you so much for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll talk to you all again next weekend for another video. So until then, take care and thanks for watching. Cheers! <laughs> hey! 7B8 uh, block in there. This is probably the most... You do it again? Yeah, we'll have to do that again. Evgenzia. No, no, I, Welcome to I'm not going to get a ride. You feel better after champagne. You <laughs> must speak better. I'm going to need one myself. Yeah. <laughs>